Hello and welcome. I'm Dr. Lester Cruz Serrano, Head of Global Medical Affairs and Head of Strategy Lead at Cognizant. And today we are very pleased to have with us Dr. Claudio Ciaccione. We'll cover today in an overview three major areas. First, the importance of clinical research. Second, challenges in clinical research. And lastly, how are we meeting those challenges with initiatives and technology? Professor Claudio Ciaccione works in hematology unit of Instituto Remanolo per the Studio La Cura de Tumore, Dino Amadori, or IRCCS, where he is head of Myeloma Clinical and Research Group. Dr. Ciccioni, welcome and thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. It's a great pleasure and honor for me to collaborate with you. Thank you for this opportunity. We'll start with our first question. We know how important clinical trials can be, in particular for patients. What has been your experience when introducing clinical trials to your patients? At first, we have to consider that there is an ongoing revolution in hematological malignancy field, and uh, clinical trials are something that helps us uh, to register and reimburse uh, new drugs and combination. Entering in a clinical trial means to access to potentially the treatment of the future in their disease and setting. Joining a clinical trial means to have something different compared with the standard of care, not only in therapy, but often also in terms of diagnostic procedures. Being in a clinical trial means to be followed as best as possible, to be uh, treated with the best opportunity, but uh, in some sense also to be followed with the best diagnostic tools. So I introduced to my patient the clinical trials as a, a total full opportunity to change their journey in sense of uh, uh, the best approach that I can give to them to beat together the disease that they are counteracting. With the focus now more than ever in diversity, transparency, innovation, and the increasing in trial complexity, these changes have presented many challenges for investigators. In your practice, what has been the greatest challenge that you have experienced? Nowadays, in many countries, there are many diversities and challenges in the access to the clinical trials. Firstly, I have to say that many patients have to travel and we have to cover the trials in a, uh, so much democratic way as possible because some patient has not the possibility to travel for having the best opportunity. Moreover, the trials should be diffused everywhere and uh, unfortunately not many cancer institutions are diffused also in my countries and that's why in some way the patient should transfer in another region to have the best approach as possible. I think that uh, maybe in next future decentralized the trials can help us to take in some way the patient opportunities at home. Another important point is that some trials opportunities are not everywhere. Many countries are less covered by the trials opportunities and I think that it's really important to uh, improve the network inside and outside the countries where we are working. Absolutely. And earlier, you talk about the challenges that have risen as a result of these topics. How have you responded to these challenges? And can you tell us about the measures taken and how innovation and technology has helped you meet these challenges? So I think that educational activities can in some way improve the, the networking of physician population. Personally, I organize a lot of educational activities in which we connect with the colleagues inside the round tables, inside the educational activities. This is really important to aware the colleagues about the novel opportunities that are present in our country. Shared investigator platform is a great achievement for researchers and the physician need. The idea of having a platform through which the pharma the physicians and the network can interact. That's what I appreciated as soon as I discovered the Shadow Investigator platform and in some way optimizing the process because inside SIP, the investigators can work together, can in some way uh, also, thanks to the advocacy group, promote initiatives to improve the process. And also I want to underline the idea of having a unique platform, not disparate services doing the same job. We have in some way to centralize all the opportunities that we have 
on one platform. Following up on that particular question, how has the Share Investigator platform, but in particular, the single sign-on capability and the study document exchange together, help you collaborate more effectively with multiple sponsors in a secure environment using one single platform? We work in many projects, in many uh, trials opportunities, and I think that the idea to have uh, too many systems can in some way make our job really confusing. Thanks to the idea of having a unique platform where we log in and we can interact inside of the different projects that we are conducting. We can optimize our job, optimize our work, and also in some way uh, optimizing the way in which the uh, counterpart can contact us. And moreover, the idea of connecting not only with the pharma, but with our data units, the idea of having all our research team in some way connecting together on the same platform. This is, I think, an incredible and effective revolution of our job.